Out they come for gold. Sylvia Sizanska of Poland leading out Madalina Amastroja. It's time to go back down to the field of play. Shooting on target number one, representing Romania, Madalina Amastroja. And her opponents shooting on target number two, representing Poland, Sylvia Zizanska. The line judge for this matchup is Christina Tipley. Oh, Nikki, I'm going to put you on the spot again. Zizanska versus Amastroja. Five years age difference, 23 year old Pole against 18 year old Romanian. Who do you think is going to take gold here? This is going to be tight, this is going to be exciting, but I'm going to go for Amastroya. I think she might have this. The 18 year old, I think, you know, she can push this all the way. Finished in the final four at the Hyundai Archery World Cup stage opener in Guatemala. She's going to start the match for gold. Sighter for the Romanian high left eight. eight. So these second arrows are going to be giving us an indication of how well they're shooting. And it's bang into the 10 for Amastroya. Well, that has put set number one to bed. Important arrow here for Susanska. Into the 10 to give her a bit more confidence going into the second set. Just took her a couple of hours to get settled there, Nikki. It did, yeah. You know, she's back in the 10 now. So, okay, set one's over. Got to leave that behind you. Move on again. We've seen both these archers come back strong at different points through the matches here. So, still go either way. Nerves have played their part throughout this tournament. They've eased off a little bit here. Perhaps the most nervy of the archers was Sazanska's teammate, Madalena Smiakowska, who was visibly shaken and really hampered by her nerves in the first quarter final. Sazanska showed some nerves in her quarterfinal, but seems to have found a way to handle them a bit better now that the quota place has been booked for Poland. 2-0 down, shoots first in the second set. Lots of communication between both coaches and their athletes. So 27 is a good score, but it's gettable here for Amastroya. 
eight. She's pushed that into the eight, though, for a 26, and we are all square at two apiece. So two, two after two sets. Nikki, you talked about earlier on about Sazanska just slowing her process down, just holding on a little bit longer at full draw. She did that again in that second set. I think it's just a pressure thing. I think when you're you're under those those that tension, a lot of archers tend to slow down and they tend to be more careful about the shot. And all you want to do is get through the process, keep it moving nice and you know smooth throughout that process. That's the best way to shoot your arrows. But under the pressure, under the tension, your brain's sort of telling you, oh, slow down a bit. You know, just just be careful here. But we don't want that. We want to keep moving, and and they're usually the better shots. Yeah, so a bit of a paradox there on the Polish side, but uh, Amastro is still looking fairly comfortable. She dropped uh, an eight in the first and eight in the second. Perhaps, well, are you still favouring her for the win? Yeah, I'm still still favouring her. Let's Amastro start off set number three. And she gets a nine as her sighter for that set. She's got the 10 that she needed to put this one out of reach. And this is swinging left and right. Both finishing with a 10, but that critical 8 for the start. For Sazanska means she trails by a single point in that set. And Amastroy goes back into the lead. She just looked a little bit more comfortable. And the process has gone through, as you, as you were saying, just a little bit quicker on the Romanian side of the shooting line. Yeah, she does. She just looks comfortable and happy with her shot and, you know, relaxed between ends, which is what you want as well. You can't keep your focus all the way through the match, so come back, just uh, kind of let loose a little bit in, in between with your coach and then uh, get back on the line focused. And she just, you know, there's this connection with the eyes and the target and that explosive shot she's got, so it's really paying off for her. Yeah, it certainly has. And Australia leading by four set points to two. So Sylvia Szanska will shoot again first in the fourth set. Needs to get off to a better start than she has done so far. Three eights at the start of three sets. There is the 10 she was searching for. Will that make a difference? Wow, I think the look said it all. There's just a bit more movement in the shot you could see before that went. Should be comfortable here. And a perfect finish for her. 29 out of a possible 30. And the pattern is repeated through the first two as it is through the second. One stray arrow caused the problems for Madalena Amastroya. And it is four set points apiece. But crucially here, Nikki Sazanska is coming into form at the right time. 
Yeah, she certainly is. We're going to go into the fifth and final regulation set here, and she's got that momentum. So, yeah, can she keep that alive and keep that going into this final set? That is the question on all our lips, and the one that you're supposed to be answering, <laughs> Nikki Hunt. What, <laughs> what do you reckon? I mean, it, I know it's very difficult to answer, isn't it? But it, it, if, if anything... I was going to say, this is, you know, the, the, the beauty of archery. No one knows. If, the, if it was that predictable, then we wouldn't watch it. So <laughs> Nobody knows. That's what you're doing. You're leaving everyone on center hooks. You just have to start to feel that the momentum has just slightly shifted towards Sizanska. Uh, our destroyer, I think you're right, was the favorite coming into this on form. She'll shoot fast in this critical deciding fifth set. What a start from her. Better than the seven she shot in set number four. Here's where we see whether the form is here to stay for Sazanska. And there is the answer. Sevens at this level usually spell trouble. I don't think that's really going to matter. Final arrow into the eight, a 28, a quick shot from Amastroya. It cannot be matched by Szanska. The gold medal is with the Romanian. And an eight to finish for Szanska. Finishes with a 23 in the end. And there's the heart. Amastroya was in the final four at the first stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup. She's not only qualified a place for Romania at the Olympic Games, but she's bagged a gold medal here in Paris. What preparation for the next stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup, but what preparation, more importantly, this is for the Olympic Games in Tokyo. It's gold for Madalena Amastroya, silver for Sylvia Szanska. Maria Harachkova of the Czech Republic picked up the bronze medal, beating Sara of Greece in the bronze medal match. Those four booked places at the Tokyo Games, along with the lucky loser in the quarterfinal, Varan Tugalag Bishindi of Mongolia, collecting that fifth and final Olympic quota place. We look back across uh, the final here, Nikki. There were moments where we thought Sazanska could get right back into this, especially in set number four, but actually Amastroya showed her quality at just 18 years old. Yeah, what a great match it was. A little bit back and forth between the two, but I'm, I'm so impressed with Madalena Amastroya. She's just shot incredibly well this year, came out in Guatemala, made the final four. She's come here, she's won her Olympic spot, she's won the tournament. I'm really excited to see her through this week at the last Hyundai World Cup, but also at the Olympic Games, assuming she's taken that spot for her country. And how much do you think... Oh, let's go and speak to her right now. Qualifying to Tokyo, winning this tournament, just amazing job. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. I'm even happier than I was before when I qualified. I didn't think it, I could be happier, <laughs> but it just all arranged. In Guatemala, you said it's your, it was your dream to go to Tokyo, and now this dream has come true. Yes, of course. I mean, who doesn't want to go to the Olympic Games? And now, because I am going, I, what dream do I have now? <laughs> so what is the dream now? Is it to go to Tokyo to fight for the Olympic medal? Yeah, maybe an Olympic medal. That would be good. <laughs> so did it give you some confidence, the win here? Yes. Uh, and the second, the, this match and the last one gave me even more confidence and now I'm even more prepared for Tokyo. <laughs> Thank you very much and once again, huge congrats for qualifying to Tokyo Thank 2020. You. <laughs>